essay. This is my chapter two video essay question and answers. And so starting off with the first one, we have matter. And matter is, in, um, is anything that takes up space and has mass. Um, the states of matters are, are solids, liquids, and gases. Solids have a definite shape and volume. Uh, liquids have no definite shape but volume. And then gases have no definite shape or volume. Um, with energy, energy is, um, is the ability to do work or to make matter move. Um, with energy, you have kinetic energy and potential energy. And then kinetic energy is energy in action, while potential is stored energy. Um, the forms of energy, you have chemical, electrical, mechanical, and radiant. With chemical, chemical um, energy is stored in the bonds of the chemical substances, which, for example, could be food molecules. Um, electrical is um, is the movement of charged particles, and then you have mechanical, which is energy directly involved in moving matter. Radiant is energy that travels in waves. Um, next is the structure of atom. Atom has three subatomic particles, which which are protons, neutrons, and electrons. In the central part of it, you have protons and neutrons. And then in the outer rings, you have the electrons. Um, the four major elements of the body are carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, nitrogen, and they make up 96% of the body's weight. Um, major minerals, you have calcium, phosphorus, potassium, sulfur, sodium, chlorine, magnesium, iodine, and iron. And these are just elements that are necessary for the body. Um, you have trace materials, which have chromium, cobalt, co copper, fluorine, mag manganese, uh, molybdenum, bidenum, uh, selenium, selenium, silicon, tin, vanadium, and zinc. Um, next, we have these are the different types of chemical bonds. You have Ionic bonds that are chemical bonds formed between two atoms that share a pair of electrons. Hydrogen bonds bonds are bonds that form when a hydrogen atom and a covalent linked with one electronic electronegative atom are are they form like a a bond and are they form a bridge with another electronegative atom. And the last one is covalent bond, which is a chemical bond formed between two atoms sharing and a pair of electrons. Um, the important properties of water: you have high heat capacity, which is the which is the water water's ability to absorb and release large amounts of heat before changing its temperature drastically. Um, uh, high heat vap vaporization which is um, the water's amount, I mean, the water's ability to have large amounts of heat. It needs a large amount of heat to even start to evaporate or vaporize. Um, polar solvent pro properties of water are this universal, it's a universal solvent, so chemical reactions depend on water to react. And since water is polar, it allows for other small reactive molecules to dissociate in water causing the substance to dissolve. And then reactivity is the decomposition reactions by hydrolysis and then large molecule assembly by dehydration synthesis. Um, for the um, acids, so you have pH, you have your pH, buffer, acids, and bases. So starting off with acids, acids are any is any substance that releases hydrogen ions in a detectable amounts. Um, bases are the substances that take up hydrogen ions in detectable amounts and are characterized by presence of hydroxyl ions. Um, the more hydrogen ions present, the more acidic the solution. The more hydroxyl ions present, the more basic the solution. And then pH is the relative concentration of hydrogen ions and body fluids measured in concentration units. Um, the pH scale runs from 0 to 14. And if it's at 7, it's neutral. Below 7, it's acidic. And above 7, it's basic. 
And then buffers are basically present in the blood to basically prevent big shifts in the pH. And that's it.